Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for Wednesday, September 11th. Morning prayer begins on page 79. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, the Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let us confess our sins against God. <clears throat> Most merciful God, we, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our will. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly strong and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of you. Mighty God, have mercy on you for all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And as, as it was in the beginning, as it is now, and, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, um, let us adore you. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him in psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. And kneel before the Lord our me. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today he would part to his place. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Um, <clears throat> Psalm appointed for today is Psalm 119, verses 49 through 72. Remember your word to your servants. Because you have given me hope. This is my comfort and my trouble, that your promise gives me life. The proud have derided me cruelly, but I have not turned from your law. When I remember your judgments of old, O Lord, I take great comfort. I am filled with a burning rage because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been like songs to me wherever I have lived as a stranger. I remember your name in the night, O Lord. And dwell upon you. This is how it has been with me, because I have kept your commandments. You only are my portion, O Lord. I have promised to keep your words. I entreat you with all my heart. Be merciful to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways and turned my feet toward your decrees. I hasten and do not tarry to keep your commandments. Though the cords of the wicked entangle me, I do not forget your law. At midnight, I will rise to give you thanks because of your righteous judgments. I am a companion of all who fear you and of those who keep your commandments. The earth, O Lord, is full of your love. Instruct me in your statutes. O Lord, you have dealt graciously with your servant according to your word. Teach me discernment and knowledge, for I have believed in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good, and you bring forth good. Instruct me in your statutes. The proud have smeared me with lies, but I will keep your commandments with my whole heart. Their heart was gross and fat, but my delight is in your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is nearer to me than thousands of gold and silver. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and will be forever. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Now a certain man is ill, Lazarus, of Bethany, the village of Mary, and her sister Martha. Mary was one who anointed the Lord with perfume and wiped his feet with her hair. Her brother Lazarus was ill, so the sister sent a message to Jesus. 
Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, this illness does not lead to death. Rather, it is for the glory, God's glory, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Accordingly, though, Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. After having heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days long in the place where he was. Then, after this, he said to the disciples, let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now trying to stone you. And are you going there again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours of daylight? Those who walk during the day do not stumble, because they see the light of this world. But those who walk at night stumble, because the light is not in them. After saying this, he told them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I'm going there to awaken him. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will be all right. Jesus, however, had been speaking about his death, but they thought that he was referring merely to sleep. And Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. For your sake, I'm glad I was not there, so that you may believe. But let us go to him. Thomas, who was called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. The word of the Lord. Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 16. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of the servant David, through his holy prophets who promised the Lord that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who made us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn of the eyes to break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and shadow of death, and then to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. I believe in God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, and Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But I am the kingdom, power, and the world, forever new. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. That your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Only in you can we live in safety. <clears throat> Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Grant us, O Lord, to trust in you with all our hearts. For as you always resist the proud who confide in their own strength, so you never forsake those who make their boast of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
Lord, we pray for those whose lives have been overtaken by tragedy, especially for the families and the victims of the victims of 9-11. Bless them with your encouragement that they may know your comfort and, and guide them as they struggle to take the next steps on their journey in life. Lord, you have taught us that in your son the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot over, have overcome it. <clears throat> Be with all those whose life is overshadowed by tragedy, or dulled by hopelessness or resignation. Help them to see the light, however small or hidden way, in all that they experience, and help them to know the gentle and powerful support of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, as we find hope and glory in the mystery of the cross, so may we find in the struggles and difficulties of this life the comfort of your presence and the truth of your purposes. Lord Jesus Christ, you endured the death of the cross that we might live, and who under the weight of suffering revealed to us the true meaning of love, life, and sacrifice. Strengthen us by the power of your victory over death, that looking on the sign of the cross, we may find our pain transformed into love, our pride overwhelmed by humility, and our selfishness changed into service. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. It's time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Here are three. Oh my God, Father of all mercy, we are unworthy servants to you. For all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all who we have made. We bless you for our creation, and bless you in all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies. That is truly thankful for us. We may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness of all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to be with you and the Holy Spirit, in honor and glory throughout all things. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be the God of hope. Fill us with all joy and peace and belief through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm.